So welcome back. Today it's uh, fly tying again as uh, yeah, as quite regular here. Uh, we're going to continue tying uh, the golden doctor salmon fly. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hope you like it. Uh, add a few comments, uh, suggestions of what I should tie after all the doctors. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, so let, let's continue tying this summer fly. So now it's time for the middle wing. Uh, I prepared that one. So let me add it in place. See, there we are. I'm just gonna get some lower traction on it. And that's the middle wing. So I'm gonna wax the thread and varnish. As always, ben Banyage clear varnish. Nothing strange. <coughs> so, adding a little bit on each side. Then I'm gonna let it dry and cut it off, and then continue with the, the main wing. Okay, so I just cut the leftovers here, so now it's time to add uh, the wing. So, here it is. I'm just gonna match them in. Uh -huh. That didn't turn out well, so let's reset the wing. Just need to get rid of all the, the hackles in the way here.
in. Pulling them down a little bit. So let's have a look at the building plan. I think we can try to reset it once again without building a new wing. Another try. better bend so let me see if I can curve it a little bit like the set on that one as well. So let me see if I might be able to It's better. That we can work with. So 
So he's going to wax the thread and uh, add some varnish. So the varnish in place. Okay, so let's continue with the sides. So we're gonna add uh, buried wood duck mallard. So let me start with this side. Then we have the contact in place. So we're gonna do the same on my side. There we are. I'm gonna use the time also to add. Mallard. I need to pull that one down a little bit. So, well, that on my side. Pull a little bit in this one. And let's see if they have some easy that we work this one maybe but first I'm gonna back the thread A few wraps. Adding the GC. See if I can pull down the red wood duck a little bit. And 
our GC from my side. Oh, that one is okay. We have uh, yeah, the topping, but I'm gonna wear I'm gonna the horns, of course, and the wool head. But I'm gonna add some varnish first, let it dry, then I'm gonna continue with the next step. Before next step, I need to cut off all the leftovers. I want them to be secured. Okay, polish in place. Okay, so it's stopping time. Let me see what we can do with this one. A prepared one, that I think will be sufficient. I think I need to slide it in place. Fishing fly, so little, little bit short. All the tail is actually long, as I mentioned when I start tying the fly, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. It doesn't matter. Framed flies, of course, then uh, it's not like, acceptable. So Let me find the Macau feathers. Not sure where I put them. fiber on from each side Friend. Mm -hmm. 
Like the shape of that. So, bending this one a little bit. There we are. I'm gonna pull this one a little bit. Now the even. I'm just gonna once again wax a little bit. No, sorry, varnish a little bit. And then it's time for the wool and finish the fly. For the next fly, I need to do something else. <laughs> I get getting sick of tying doctors for the moment. So. so I need to have a break tying something else. So let's finish the head then with some red wool. So I don't want to take too much. I'm gonna wax the thread. Just a few tight wraps here. A little bit more. And there we are. Securing the thread. I'm gonna add some varnish there. So adding a little bit of varnish right now. So let it dry and then cut off the thread and uh, the fly is uh, ready. So that's basically how you do this uh, uh, golden doctor. Um, the tail was a little bit long when I started so overall you know it's not it's not perfect in any way but you know I tie uh, when I do this video I tie uh, fishing fly so 
uh, if a tight frame flies the video is gonna be like three four hours long so <laughs> nobody gonna watch that uh, may maybe in several parts I might think of doing that later but anyhow if you like what I'm doing please uh, you know subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss out on my next uh, videos that are coming um, Add some comments, you know, if you have a proposal of a pattern you want me to tie or anything, let me know. Um, I'm of course available Facebook, Instagram, I'm gonna add that in the details. So yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.